Yoruba Coalition reaffirms commitment towards self-determination. And the federal government reveals plans to publicize the names of sponsors of Boko Haram and other terrorists. Plus politics starts now, and I am Justin Akadonye. Well, welcome back. Now, a coalition, Yoruba One Voice, YOV, has reaffirmed its commitment towards the actualization of the Odua Republic. In a communique after its virtual conference, which had over 1,000 prominent Yoruba sons and daughters in attendance, the group vowed to pursue vigorously the struggle for self-determination. Discussing with me is Maxwell Adelaide, Media and Publicity Secretary Ilano Omo Odua, and President Yoruba Ronu Leadership Forum, Aki Malulu. Good evening to you, gentlemen. Many thanks for joining us on Plus Politics tonight. Let's talk about national unity, uh, the call for secession by some groups uh, amongst um, your uh, thrive. Uh, but let's just look at the headline that uh, the Guardian or the Vanguard uh, captioned today. Uh, it says, uh, secession or restructuring Alaki Are Adams, YCE, Afeniferi, Akintoye, others clash. You know, from the look of things, from all of this um, outcries from various quarters, all within the same um, ethnic group, would you say that um, there is a bit of um, a division amongst uh, the Yoruba people vis-a-vis -vis the call for secession and, of course, uh, restructuring? Let me start with you, Maxwell. Um, thank you very much. Uh, let me let me correct you. I am speaking. I'm not speaking on behalf of Ilalo Modidua. I'm speaking. Uh, I was invited as the president of the Yoruba Professionals Foundation. So I'm the public secretary of Ilalo Modidua. But the invitation I got was not to come and speak on behalf of Ilalo Modidua. Was as the uh, president of the Yoruba Professionals Foundation. So I hope I'm correct. All right, just go ahead with the issues right now. Oh, we've, um, I'm taking a okay. note of that. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, uh, very quick one. Uh, if you look at the present state of Nigeria, you know that nothing is working in the country. Is it in terms of security, the economy, as in the hunger in the land is Gagatuan. So there is a pap there is a Gagatuan hunger, like I said, in the land. So when you go to the east, there is crisis. When you go to the northwest, there is crisis. When you go to the northeast, there is crisis. When you come to the southwest, people can no longer travel to our villages on the road on the road with our SUVs. So People are forced. We requested for restructuring. They said no way. Then people now say, okay, let's go on our own peacefully. So, uh, is it, if you go and study the issue, go to the the, the default USSR, the Senegambia, is even recently South Sudan. There is no way we can have in one voice. The fact is that the majority of Yoruba people today want self determination. So I need to, to me, I am for self-determination. Myself and my group, we are for self-determination for Yoruba land. Some people say secession, I don't know what they mean by secession. What we are saying is that we want self-determination for Yoruba land. We when you say you want self-determination specifically, what exactly are you demanding? Do you want a situation where uh, your group uh, would actually make a call where the Yorubas would go on their own? and uh, be separated from the southeast and the northwest and the northeast. What exactly do you mean when you say you are demanding self-determination? Okay, uh, let, me make, let me make it very clear. Let me make it very es explicit. Uh, the Nigeria was, um, I mean, the south and the north were amalgamated in the United by the British, um, by the British government. 
1945 or so, we were divided, the regionalism started in Nigeria. So from that 1945 up to 1960, what we had was a full-fledged regional system of government, whereby all the regions were operating at their own pace. The East, the West, and the and the and the, and the, the East, the West, and the East, the West, and the North, and later Midwest. But later on, the group, after the group detached of 1966 and uh, the, 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 the embodiment of the regional system, which was set by the government government in 1967, everything here and here we are today. So we personally, we want Nigeria to practice what is called true federation. Yoruba want to have its own nation within the Nigeria federation. That is what we so want. So invariably, you're asking for true you federalism. Understand our self-determination. Let, please, let me, let me learn, please. If we go to Britain, we have Scotland, have we? We have a country called Scotland within the United Kingdom. We have Wales, have we? They, they, they have their own national flag. They have their own, they have their own national So team. you want a country within a country? Scotland and Wales compete with each other. So in a, that that it is happening like that is why the the, 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 the the kingdoms could work together, could operate together because they are of different norms. They are different nations. But in Nigeria, they just put everybody. We just put all of us together, and they want us. And they call. They say we are a federal republic of Nigeria. Whereas what is happening, what we are running is a unity system of government. So that's what we understand by a separate. We want to have our own. Nation All right, points noted. I'll have to, we'll have to come back to you to get more analysis on that. But let's bring um, Akim Malalu now into uh, this conversation. Uh, good evening to you, Mr. Malalu. You have heard um, the point of uh, Maxwell uh, Delay. Let's get your own uh, point of view right now. What various calls for secession, restructuring, true federalism. What should we be looking at? You are a Yoruba man. Specifically, how do you react to all of these calls from various groups? Um, we have listened to them, and um, we have seen how disorganized the whole situation has become. When self-determination means a nation within a nation, I mean, they have become perplexed. And the others, and you hear of Odudua Republic, is it the same within the State Republic of Nigeria, has it become perplexed? In all of these, no doubt, we have grievances amongst ourselves in our diversity. But one important ingredient which we are trying to overlook is dialogue, which will take us into peace and from peace to prosperity. And what are, where are these problems from? If you go back to history, last year, October, the answers were made up of youths of Nigeria, the tribalized youths of Nigeria. They stood up and there were a series of demands made by these honest Nigerian youths. These grievances were not wearing tribal or religious connotations. And they form the bulk of our population, the youths. So how did we get to the level of self-determination and all that? And I want to be very careful. Why? Because when this thing started some a year back or so, when somebody said he emerged as a Yoruba leader, that he contested with another leader and he won, all of a sudden, he disappeared only to reappear with self-determination. So are we saying, is it because of the Uba presidency that we have all this euphoria of pretensions and deceitfulness? We are in a nation. There's no way we can force a break of, break up of Nigeria. Dialogue is the only way, the only route to which we can give peace to this nation. Whom are we running away from? We have the largest population in Nigeria, 55 million. 
the Fulanese, who are also our brother, they have less than 20. The Hausas have 45 million. The Igbos have 40 million. So we stand as the largest tribe in Nigeria today. So why are we running? Running to where? No, 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 no. Our stand in Yoruba Ronu is simple. We are going to work for peace. We are not going to disturb those who are on the route of self-determination. It is their own fascination. They can drive it with their enthusiasm and their fancy. All right. But uh, on our own part, as a leadership forum, oh. we are looking at the old issues and grievances. And what is coming on Nigeria is not even, even break up. The use of Nigeria, I pray that there's no spark that will lead us into a revolution. All right, th all right thank you, Mr. Malone. Nothing like determinism will be on the table anymore. All right, Maxwell, let me come back to you now. You've heard um, the position of uh, Mr. Aki Malalu. Uh, but however, the president uh, was in the news, uh, you know, with, sev uh, with several calls of, um, uh, for cessation uh, at the Tinubu Colloquium. He said specifically that uh, Nigerians are better and stronger together in the entity called Nigeria, noting that he defended the unity of the country as a soldier during the civil war between 1967 and 1970. Uh, looking at all of this, now how far Nigeria has come within the civil war that we have seen that lasted between 67 and 70, do you really think at this particular time that uh, if various uh, geopolitical zones start calling for secession, that uh, there'll be nothing left. Don't you think there'll be nothing left of this entity called Nigeria? Is that what we really want at this particular um, time? Thank you very much, Mr. Justin. Uh, firstly, let me uh, appreciate my uh, editor, Mr. Malaolu. He doesn't know me. I don't know him personally, but I've read a lot about him. He's a man I respect a lot, and I, it's a privilege for me to be on the same panel with him. Thank you, Mr. Justin, for bringing him on board. Uh, but I need to correct him. Very, I need to humbly correct him, sir. Uh, a nation, Nigeria is not a nation. He said we want a nation within a nation. No, Nigeria is not a nation. Then what is Nigeria? A nation is a group of people. A nation is a group of... Nigeria is a country. Okay. There, could, there, are, there could be nations within a country. A, group, a nation is a group of people with same norms, same ideas, same part, same language, same culture. Are we saying Nigeria, Yoruba people and Eastern people share the same culture, same norms, same views, same beliefs, or we share the same views, or same norms, same language with Fulani, Hausa, or Tif? So Yoruba is a nation. Uh, is Igbo people, Igbo is a, the Igbo people is a nation, and the Fulani is a nation. And it's the, it has, and so, so that, 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 that answers, that, let me, that, that ends that part. Then on the issue of uh, somebody imagine as Yoruba leader, Baba Kitoye was on his own when he, the, the group of people met in uh, at Ibadan on the 22nd of August 2019, and they, they told him he should come and lead the struggle for the self-determination of your He was 84 years old then. So if at 86 now, he's still struggling for the best, and a, 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 a member of the Senate in Second Republic and an emeritus professor of history, I don't think it deserves to be to be to be vilified. It deserves to be. Now to the speech of the president, uh, Mr. Justin, let me say very expressly that, like I said, we are we are not secessionists. Say Nigeria is great. I say if all restructure Nigeria, hmm? restructure Nigeria, I give let number one. Let's have a constitution to be written by the people, unlike the constitution. They tell we the people. Who are the people that wrote the 1999 constitution? My Oga, Mr. Malawi was one of the great patriots who campaigned vigorously for the enthronement of true federalism in Nigeria. Today, they said we are noise makers because we are said, give us a true federation. Now, Mr. Mr. President Muhammad Dubari, we are not saying we want Nigeria to paralyze or to be disintegrate. We are saying within this Nigeria, let the Yoruba people govern themselves. Let the Igbo people govern themselves. So you want us to let go back to regional system of government? Let's of Shogodo did it before. 
Obafemi Awolowo did it before. Then let's add it again. Like we had in the independent constitution, in the native constitution of 1954, the independent constitution of 1963 and the, 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 the Republican constitution of 1963. Is that let's add it. Let's develop at our pace. We saw how, what Awolowo did with our money. We saw what Saudana did with it. Let's do it again. Why are these people scared? All right, and Maxwell. Care, these people are breathing business on their, in their own region. All right, Maxwell, let me, let me put, let me, let me put this to you, Maxwell. Let me put this to you right now. A lot of people have confused several terminologies. True federalism, secession, uh, devolution of power, restructuring, a regional system of government. Specifically right now, you're asking that uh, all the regions should go back to their own domain and govern themselves. So you're looking at where the... We go back to Southwest government, the Southeast government, the Northwest, the North Central, and the Northeast, and you'd have like um, one person governing uh, that particular sector. But with all that we have seen with several calls, with several differentiations and uh, non-alignment, do you really think uh, the Yoruba nation would actually stand tall with all of these divisions uh, ongoing right now? Let, let, let me tell you something, Mr. Justin. Somebody from Wales is a British citizen. Someone from Scotland is a British citizen. I, Maxwell Adelaide from Yoruba land. I'm a Nigerian citizen. Simple as ABC. I will be a member of the Nigerian parliament if I'm elected to the Nigerian parliament. It does, but I'm, a Yoruba, I'm from Yoruba nation. Simple as ABC. We will have our own police. Like the people of Scotland have their own police within Britain. We will have our own. We will, we will still spend our Naira. But I will control the, uh, the people of Yoruba land will control their. The oil in on those down. The people, the eastern people will control the mines in Safara. I mean the gold in Safara. I mean the what London people. They will control the gold in Safara. Bandits will take over the, everywhere. If they have a true Yoruba, a true national a true nationalism running in Nigeria, bandits will take over Safi Safara. They won't take over Safara because that is where the 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 the, 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 the those places are gold mine. Please. We won't have a situation by the GPO controlling my local government will be Bluetooth from from Abuja. We said, please. It is, it's favor, as far as I'm concerned, intellectually, educationally, it will favor even the people from the north. As long as, because look at the level of education. You write jam, you gain admission with 120 into ABU. But you, are, you need to solve two cities to gain admission into Union Lack. What are we bridging? All right, all right. All right, let me talk to Aki Malolo right now. You've heard uh, Maxwell, and he has said that uh, if uh, we went back to the regional system of government, the issues and the speed of insecurity that we have right now in Nigeria will actually be no more. Do you really agree that uh, we have this rising insecurity because uh, we are not doing what we should be doing in terms of um, true federalism. Yes. There are grievances, of course, against uneven standards, loop-sided appointments, corruption, nepotism of the highest order. All of these are grievances which different ethnic nationalities have against one another in our diversity. And coming to Southwest part of my own country, we have politicians since 1999. What employment have they created? None. Some of them have private jets. Some of them are drawing pension for working for eight years or four years as political office holders. They are mining gold in Elisha too. So we are guilty as the North is guilty, as the South is guilty, as the Middle Belt is guilty. So what is left for all of us to do is for all ethnic nationalities to come together to heal the wounds that exist in our diversity. At least bring up a new constitution which will be approved by our National Assembly. Once that is done, we could remove corruption. Our youths anywhere can gain, can gain employment without undue favorism to one side. Yes, we have seen loop-sided employment. 
in the, uh, the Department of Safe Security, 80% were from the North. These are grievances enough to create the, 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 the self-determination that now stares us in the face. So I cannot blame them, but we must look for peace. All right, we must All right, go, thank you. go into dialogue. All right. With one another. All right, you have uh, underscored indeed the need for dialogue. Please, please, please. Yes, you will, Maxwell. Uh, I just want to say a very big thank you to you, Akimalulu, for your point. Uh, let's just uh, hear from you, uh, Maxwell Adele, as we close this session. Uh, my guy has made my day. Mr. Malalu has made my day. He agreed that the, 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 the country is emoking and the economy is bleeding. Corruption is blowing and like the wave of ocean, and nothing is working. But he now said something that got me scared. He said we should go to National Assembly to review constitution. Which National Assembly? I did not say the that. National Assembly that is under the tutelage of the executive. To no. sit down together, put we have them together, clear. whatever you come up with. Can yeah, we, we have declared. We know National the current the National Assembly Nigeria. cannot review any constitution. Now, guys, you know what okay. we have done is we have declared the constitutional force major as stipulated in the United, by the United Nations and African Union uh, Declaration, I mean, Charter of Demand, I mean, the Declaration <laughs> on, uh, on Human Rights. We have declared the constitutional force major. We gave the federal government 80 days to call for an, a, 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 an assembly, um, a, a, to call all Nigerians together to discuss on the way forward for this constitution. Let's have a first, if it's possible, sovereign national, let's draft our own constitution that would guarantee self-determination for all the regions. Then you will know 90% of the problems militating against the peace and, of Niger and the people of Nigeria will disappear. The problem is that the system is weak. The system is not functioning. And the current constitution, if you bring Mr. Malaulu, 20%, 20 of Mr. Malaulu, 20 of Dagaban, Tinubu, 20 of uh, uh, Barack Obama to Nigeria to run Nigeria with the current constitution. Nothing will happen. I stand to be corrected. And so invariably, the issue right, right, right now stems from our constitution. Maxwell, as we wrap up. Is that what? So the bulk of the issues we have as a, as a country... 1999 constitution is a fraud. It is a fraud against the people of Nigeria. It is a... It is, the 1999 constitution, apart from being a fraud, it is, it is, it is a... It is, it, is, it is a wickedness of the highest order against you yourself. The constitution that, 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 that stipulates that the governor right, and the chief security officer, whereas they have no, the governor does not even have control by his ABC. All right, the thank, you. thank you, thank Please. you, Maxwell, for your time. Uh, indeed, uh, we have been looking at uh, national unity uh, in the wake of several calls uh, for secession, uh, self-determination, restructuring now and a whole lot more from the Yoruba nation. Uh, we've had uh, Maxwell Adele uh, joining us and of course uh, Aki Malalu on this segment of the show. Uh, many thanks once again, gentlemen. All right, thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now and when we return. Federal government uh, plans to reveal sponsors behind Boko Haram and other terrorists. Stay with us.